What's going on? Vincent Rapisardi, BigBlueUnbiased.com. Thank you to those who've liked, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure to turn the notification bell on so that every time I post, you get a notification and you can come join in on the conversation. So I'm a big analytics guy because I think it's an objective way to analyze teams and players. It takes the emotion out of it. Sometimes we see with scouting, depends on who's watching, right? That's why teams evaluate players differently from the draft and free agency and whatnot. But I also appreciate old school football, team football. I, I appreciate hard nose discipline. I, I like that. I, that, that. I still think that serves a legitimate purpose in today's game. Even if analytics is starting to come along, old school football still serves a purpose. And I talked about this in a recent video that Joe Judge is bringing old school football back to the Giants. Something you didn't see with Ben McAdoo. You didn't see with Pat Shermer. And it's a relatability thing too, I think. Pat Shermer, Ben McAdoo, they were hired to help Eli Manning, right? They were offensive offensive guys, technically offensive coordinators who were head coaches, right? They, they really just ran the offensive side of the football, specifically trying to help their quarterback. That might not be relatable to a defensive end or a safety or a linebacker, right? Like, there are probably many guys on the team that didn't relate to Ben McAdoo or Pat Shermer. It didn't really, maybe his message didn't get across. Whereas Joe Judge, he seems to be everybody's coach. He seems to be an old school football coach where he has the same core beliefs, right? Those, those same, the same standard that every single player can follow. He's not just an offensive guy or a defensive guy. He's a team guy. And like I said, I think that is a relatable aspect um, that's refreshing and interesting. It kind of reminds me a little bit, uh, the old school football coach of the old school football era of like Tom Coughlin, it seems like it's back after missing for years. It seems to be back and it's refreshing. It's refreshing to see a team that seems to be about accountability, um, hard nosed football. So today they had their first padded practice, the Giants, and apparently a lot of cursing, a lot of screaming, yelling, players and coaches running laps, and Joe Judge, I'm paraphrasing here, but he said, when players mess up, coaches mess up, there's accountability, right? There's consequences for messing up. So again, we'll see if this is if this works, if this turns into wins, uh, but it's interesting. Like I said, it's refreshing. It, it seems to be like, okay, there is, there's a, a relatable football coach, a, a, a relatable um, old school football mindset that every single player can relate to it seems to be back with the Giants it's not just an offensive coordinator or a defensive coordinator being a head coach it's a football coach being a football coach and every single player can kind of uh can kind of understand where he's coming where he's coming from and where and his perspective in general so that's all I got just a short video here to talk about quickly talk about uh some things that I heard about today's practice um so again interesting so far the joe judge era that's all i got vince rapsardi big blue and bias.com you can follow me on twitter at vince rapsardi i have a podcast and uh again turn notifications on i would really appreciate that thank you again vince rapsardi big blue and bias.com